I'm Neil deGrasse Tyson, host of Nova Science Now. In his new book, The World Without Us, author Alan Weissman wonders, what if humans suddenly vanished from the Earth tomorrow? Yeah, what if we weren't even here? Humans are gone. How would the rest of nature continue from this point forward? To get an idea, he took me to the High Line, a former railway in the heart of New York City. These plants are growing out of what originally was just simply airborne soot. <laughs> City soot. Yeah, and eventually seeds clung to that. Uh, it looks like the soil here. Yeah, there's all kinds of things growing up here. It's pretty magnificent. Crab apples, cypress, golden rods. Primroses, asters. An apple tree, a praying mantis. And how much time did this take? 1980 was when they stopped <laughs> using it, so. so two or three decades, that's it. Yeah. Then, Weissman takes it a step further, a sort of thought experiment. I call it a creative experiment. Given enough time, could nature ever obliterate all of our traces, undo our monumental cities and public works? Most of the suspension bridges within a couple hundred years, they're gonna be down. Over the next thousand years, there'd still be ruins of buildings around, but uh, our most modern architecture, most of it will have crumbled because it just doesn't last all that long. Ultimately, a glacier scrapes New York clean. It's happened 18 times in the last million years, and it'll happen once more. How lonely will the world be without us? It won't be a lonely place at all. The sounds of the earth will be the sounds of the wind, and the sounds of the rain, and the sounds of running water, and the sounds of animals. That's what the world would hear without us. You haven't heard from us in a while. Nova Science Now will be back soon. I'm Neil deGrasse Tyson.